So we've done self-attention, we've done multi-head self-attention, we've done positional encodings as well. So what else do we need to understand this um, transformer model? Um, we're next going to look at the word masked. Okay, so what does that mean? Like what does masked attention mean? In some problems, we need a decoder which is causal. And what does that mean? Um, it means we need a, a decoder or a model that can't look at the future when we're trying to predict the output at the current time step. Okay. Um, so a good example of this is if we're doing next word prediction, basically maybe we are building an autocomplete system, then you might at training time see, you know, complete sentences. But at test time, you will always just see the first few words and ask to predict the next word. And so you can't really cheat by training a model on the full sentences. You need to make sure that if you have attention, if you're using an attention based model, that it doesn't look into the future when it's predicting the current output. OK, I mentioned something similar when we spoke about bidirectional RNNs, if you remember that that bidirectional RNNs, you should also be careful that you're not looking at the future, uh, actually cheating by giving the model the answer at training time, which you won't have at test time. Let's just quickly go to the transformer picture. So if you look at the transformer picture, and in the paper they very specifically focus on machine translation. So what you would have here is your output probabilities will be the outputs over another language, but that would be based on inputs that's a complete sentence. Okay, so you have a complete sentence and on the output side you're trying to produce the translation of that sentence. Now at test time, when you're actually running this model, you will have the complete sentence as the input. Okay, but at, at, at test time you will not know what words should come out here. And it's an autoregressive model which means that you're going to output one word and then you're going to feed that in um, to the decoder going to produce the output, feed that into the decoder, and so on. Tunk, 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 tunk. But at test time, you won't actually have those words. So it's fine to use our attention layer, our multi head attention, exactly as we've built it up, up to now in the, in the encoder. But in the decoder, we need a causal model. Basically, this model can't cheat by looking at the future. Okay? And this is where why we have in the decoder, we have the word masked here. And that means that we're basically going to mask out some of the attention weights or some of the inputs so that it can't use those inputs that occurs in the future when trying to make predictions. Uh, what are you going to do? So let's say I have the sentence, I went to school to learn, and this is a training time sentence. So I have these words. At test time, I won't have these words. I will just have the first four words and I'm asked to predict the next word. So at training time, I don't want to cheat. And the way to do that is just to say, you and you, you do not get any attention. Okay. Um, very sad. You don't get any attention. And, I'm, and that's called masked attention, basically. And so in code, what you're going to do is you're going to, you remember the attention scores, A for position T, okay, with the query at position I, I'm going to set that so that I have a score that's negative infinity if T comes after my uh, query position. Okay? And if I have a negative infinity there, remember the softmax takes E to the minus infinity, which is zero, and then you're going to assign a zero weight to these positions. So you're basically going to have a, a zero there, and similarly here, a zero there. Otherwise, what I'll do is I'll just go on and take the dot product as I have always done. Query, key, and scale dot product if it's a transformer, a self-attention model, if um, T is smaller than or equal to I. And in that way, you're getting a causal model. So if I have a causal model, this is, this is what I will do. We now know positional encodings, multi head attention, must multi head attention and the last ingredient we need in order to understand this monstrosity is called uh, and it is really the last one is called cross attention